Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. Uh, we hope everyone's having a great day today. Uh, it's actually very beautiful outside. This last week we've had rain almost every day, haven't we Marie? We sure have. <laughs> Lots of rain, but one good thing about all that rain is it makes our garden look good. And so uh, this week I harvested some squash and some green tomatoes. Uh, zucchini squash and cucumber yeah. got one cucumber <laughs> but we don't have any red tomatoes yet but we'll be getting those pretty soon and our gladiolas are starting to bloom and so uh, they are really looking good I love those gladiolas don't you Marie? Yeah, they're pretty. the blooms just don't last long enough but they are beautiful when they're blooming um, I'm going to give you a little quick update I had told you about my great niece her baby being born premature and uh, when it was born it was one pound and 14 ounces if I remember correctly anyway the baby is about five weeks old now and she is up to three pounds and one point something ounce mm -hmm. so she's a little over three pounds uh, she looks good and healthy and uh, she seems to be doing real good so if you've been praying for this little baby, her name is Kinsley, and uh, it's spelled a little different than you would think it's spelled. Uh, and I don't know if I could even spell it correctly. But if you've been praying for her, we certainly do appreciate it, and I know that her mother appreciates it too. And we'll keep you updated. Uh, she'll probably get to go home here. Maybe in the next uh, four weeks, she may be big enough to go home. Mm -hmm. But we'll keep you updated when she does get to go home. And speaking of babies, Marie, <laughs> uh, now you'll be seeing this video on Sunday morning, but Marie has a baby shower to go to on Sunday for our granddaughter. Yeah. And uh, you looking forward to that one, Marie? Oh, yeah. I didn't get to go to it. She invited me to another one. I didn't get to go to that one, but yeah. I was a little under the weather then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Marie had a little bit of a, uh, was it sinus problems she was having, Marie? Um, no, I'll, since you brought it up, I'm not going to tell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it was my stomach I had. <laughs> oh, yeah. I couldn't remember, but Marie does have sinus problems a lot, too. <laughs> but um, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you there. <laughs> Nobody likes to admit they have a stomach virus. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so she'll be going to a shower today. And if you watch our video, that'll be coming out tomorrow night monday night at six o'clock uh, on that video uh, marie made two strawberry cakes to take to the uh, shower and so we're going to show you some clips of her making those two cakes and uh, this is the paula dean recipe strawberry cake that marie makes and everybody loves your cake marie uh, yeah. Paula Dean is a great cook. So. <laughs> well, you are too. <laughs> but uh, we do have the full video showing Marie making the uh, Paula Dean strawberry cake. And I'll put a link to that video in the description of this video. And so you can check it out. But then Monday evening, if you want to see her working, making two cakes in one day, you was a little bit tired after that, weren't you, Marie? Uh, yeah, and I don't like using a spatula like all the cake decorators do i'd rather just use a case knife <laughs> so i mean it just works better for me and i know some people will probably say why didn't i use a spatula mm -hmm. but i just don't like using them well what works for you works good <laughs> and uh, you know i i actually tried it myself to see how it felt and i like using the uh, case knife also uh, mm -hmm. some people call it a butter knife yeah. But we're the uh, old Southern generation, and I call it a case knife. <laughs> Whichever, anyway, I like using, <laughs> using but, that better. But if you watch our channel and enjoy it, we appreciate it, but you will have to deal with some of our Southern quirkiness. <laughs> okay, Marie, uh, this last week we had four videos, and uh seems like we've been busy all week long. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but we've just had a lot of little things going on this week, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, the first video we did was the Sunday chat. And on the Sunday chat, we uh, did a mail call and a garden update. And so uh, 
The second video we did, uh, Marie made a cherry pie filling fruit salad. Now, if you saw that video, uh, I did everything I could to get some good pictures of that fruit salad, and it's just almost impossible to get good pictures of that particular fruit salad. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you, it was the best tasting fruit salad that you can imagine. And uh, Marie made the comment, she said, uh, if you want to make it with fresh fruit, that you know it might even be better. But uh, in our case, uh, if you've been watching us very long, you know that we do prepping. And I don't talk about it a whole lot on our videos, but we do prep. And so we got quite a bit of uh, canned fruit that's in our prepping supplies. And so we need to use them occasionally, don't we, Marie? Yeah. And so that recipe was made with all canned fruit that came out of our prepping supplies. Yeah. And, uh, and actually, if you was going to make that recipe uh, and you was going to the store to buy everything, It'd be a whole lot cheaper to buy it with the canned fruit than it would be to buy fresh fruit. Yeah. And think about all the work you'd save because you'd be having to chop up your uh, pineapples, uh -huh. your peaches, yeah. and uh, it'd be a lot of work, wouldn't it? It would be. But anyway, don't know if I mentioned it or not, but it was delicious. Uh, and it made so much, it lasted us for what, two or three days, Marie? Yeah. It was good. Uh, I was going in there after supper each night getting me a little <laughs> snack of uh, fruit salad. <laughs> but I really enjoyed that. Okay, Marie, next video you did was the crock pot queso chicken tacos. Yeah, that was a really good recipe. It's good to, to do, you know, during the week or the weekend. Um, saves a lot of work. Easy clean up. <laughs> And tasted good. Yes, it tastes I, very good. I, I loved it. And uh, one way we served it also, Marie, we made tacos, but then uh, on the leftovers, we just put some nacho chips down with some lettuce and put the uh, chicken queso mixture on top of it. Yeah, that and, was uh, good too. That was sort of like nachos and cheese, chicken nacho and some cheese or something like that, but it was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, there's a lot of ways to use your leftovers. You just have to learn how to do it, don't you? <laughs> okay, Marie, the last video you made was probably your best video for this week. It was the lemon blueberry dessert. Now, if anybody wants to make that one, you cannot go wrong. That was so good. Mm -hmm. And what's your little tip for that dessert, Marie, that you would recommend to them? Well, right before, um, you know, you just refrigerate it, but if you want to make it uh, to be a little bit more firm, firmer, right before you serve it, put it in your freezer for about 15 or 20 minutes. And that makes it really good. Yeah, it makes it real good and cold and Mm -hmm. and it'll cut a lot more firmer, won't it? Yeah. Now, if you were to leave it in the freezer for a couple of hours or more, it might freeze solid, might it? Uh, yeah, probably. probably would. But if it froze solid, I believe you could cut it and get your piece out, and within a few minutes, you'd probably be able to eat it. But I definitely enjoyed it when it was real cold. Yeah. And uh, we ended up, that made a big, uh, as a 9 by 13, pan of it yeah. that's a lot of uh, dessert yeah. so we were able to give uh, almost half of that away mm -hmm. and so thank goodness for that because if not I'd be eating it every day <laughs> but it was really good wasn't it Marie? I really liked it and my daughter we, was the one that we gave it to and uh -huh. she really said that was a really good dessert it was okay so coming up for tomorrow night uh, the video that we're going to be doing Monday night uh, go ahead and give you a little preview of it, but the name of it is Poor Man's Stew. It's a crock pot meal, and uh, I guess it gets its name because you don't use actual beef, uh, you know, like beef meat, like a chuck roast or anything like that in. You use hamburger meat, and, uh, and those little packets of beef stew seasoning that you buy, those things are pretty expensive. Well, this recipe does not call for one of those packets. You just put some individual seasonings in it. Yeah. And so it makes it a little more economical to bake it and prepare it. But you know what? 
I really enjoyed that, Marie. It had a real good taste and flavor to it. Yeah, I did. It was really good, and you can always double it up if you've got a big family. Yeah. The, it probably would serve about four, would you say? About, about four the way it was. Yeah. The way you made it. But she just made a small one, and uh, I really enjoyed it. We have enough left over that we're going to have another meal off of it. And so I'm looking forward to that one, too. We, uh, we may end up having that leftover meal tonight, by the way. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, that video will be coming out uh, tomorrow night, Monday night. And like I said, there will be some previews in there of Marie working on those two cakes at one time. So hope you all watch that one and enjoy it, too. We appreciate everybody watching our videos and taking time to uh, listen to us talk. <laughs> but uh, we just want to let you know what's going on with us today, didn't we, Marie? Yep, and remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Absolutely, we need that, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody that's watching us has probably already subscribed, but y'all might forget to hit that little like button. So hit that like button, give us an extra like on it. Right. Uh, I know Marie, she deserves a, she deserves a hundred percent likes. <laughs> And, uh, but we know we never get that, so you know, that's okay. But if you will, hit the like button. We appreciate it, okay? Mm -hmm. So everyone have a great day. We'll see you on our next video. And do what you love and love what you do. And like Kevin said, we'll see you on our next video. Bye. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here